Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. How are you all guys? I really hope that you are doing great. Today I will present the third video of uh, hierarchical linear modeling series, my HLM series. In my first video, I explained why hierarchical linear modeling is necessary, why it is needed. And I explained uh, the nested data for level 1, level 2 and level 3 and to its various forms. In my second video, uh, I told you how to make an MDM file by using HLM7 software that is special software for hierarchical linear modeling. And I also told you that how to configure the MDM file and I constructed a null model for nested data. In the today's video, I'll tell you that how to determine that hierarchical linear modeling is appropriate for your data set and is needed. Why you should apply hierarchical linear modeling for your nested data. To assess this need to use HLM, I will show you how to conduct the interclass correlation coefficient test to determine whether hierarchical linear modeling is needed or not. Second, I'll discuss the model fit for our null model that we have created in our previous lecture. So here is the data set, our SPSS data set, and this was the null model uh, I have created in my last lecture. Stat score is our dependent variable at level one. Here is the outcome. We are using normal outcome variable distribution. At level one, there are extraversion, gender, and stat score of the student. At level two, there is uh, one variable that is teacher's experience. So this is the level one model. Stat score is equal to beta plus r and level two model. Beta is equal to gamma plus u. First of all, we will configure the file as I told you in a previous video. Uh, select full maximum likelihood and OK. And then go to output settings and print various covariance matrix and uh, OK. Now uh, I will run the analysis by clicking on run analysis. I have already saved it, so I will press this save and a run button. You can save as and run. So now it's running. You can see that the outcome of the analysis is displayed in the web browser. This is HLM hierarchical modeling software's outcome. This is the path we have uh, already mentioned in our initial outcome window. Uh, you can see the summary of the model, final results. So, this is the level one. A regression equation, level 2 regression equation, and mixed model. You can see the standard error. The intercept, the standard error of intercept. Reliability estimate final estimation of fixed effects and with the robust standard errors and final estimation of variance components. But for this null model analysis, the most important result is final estimation of variance component. Here you can see that random effects is giving standard deviation and variance component of uh, intercept component and uh, level one. So you can see that its uh, intercept component is significant and if intercept component is significant, it means that interclass correlation should also be significant. I'll calculate ICC to show you whether it's significant or not. Here the chi-square test for intercept is significant. 
this was the final estimation of variance uh, you can see in, in addition to random effect it also gives the deviance statistic and number of estimated parameters you can see there are two parameters uh, estimated so for calculating intra class correlation first we have to know that the null model serves two purposes it is the basis for calculating the intra class correlation coefficient which is the useful test of whether multi level modeling is needed or not second it outputs the deviance statistic that is negative to ll mean negative to log likelihood so these are the two purposes very important purposes uh, to create uh, a null model okay icc varies from plus 1 to negative 1 over n minus 1 please try to understand this if um, icc approaches plus 1 it means that uh, between group variation is large and there is no variation within groups and if its uh, icc is uh, zero or in negative range it means that uh, there is no between group variation and within group variation is large so if icc is in positive range then uh, we can conclude that uh, the application of uh, hierarchical linear modeling to our data uh, is appropriate here you can see now um, i'll tell you how to calculate icc now icc will be calculated in this way what you will do you will divide the variance component of intercept with the variance component plus the total variance component so this is how you will calculate icc uh, you will divide the various component of intercept by the various component of intercept plus the total variance component you can see the various component of intercept is uh, 0.70212 you add this in 1.22179 it gives 1.92391 so now what you will do you will simply divide the various component of intercept 0.70212 by 1.92391 here you get 0.36 it means that the interclass correlation coefficient is 0.36 therefore we will conclude that the use of hierarchical linear modeling for our data is appropriate and needed as well to avoid the correlated error of the regression technique This is the deviance. Deviance serves as a, a model fit uh, for hierarchical linear modeling, null model. Uh, you can see that it outputs the deviance statistic that is. This deviance uh, statistic will serve as a baseline for this null model and it will be reduced when we will add more variables into our model. So this is very important. This is similar like in regression we use R square or uh, in uh, smart PLS we use RMR and in uh, uh, AMOS we use RMSEA. So this is the model fit statistics for hierarchical linear modeling. It's called deviance. So you have to take care of the statistics. So in this video I have explained how to calculate intra class correlation coefficient for the null model to determine whether hierarchical linear modeling is appropriate for our data and also is it needed or not so for our case the hierarchical linear modeling is appropriate and it's needed as well and second we have calculated the deviance that serves as a model fit for hierarchical linear modeling the value of deviance for our model is 6328.671685. So always remember that it will reduce. If it reduces greatly following negative to LL algo, then the model you achieved is more significant and more valuable. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new from this video and in a better way because I always try to explain things very simply because I believe in keep it simple principle. That's why I always share the information in most easy and presentable way. Thank you very much for watching this video.